happy doing it I need to watch the traffic while I'm doing this so I don't do this at home <laughs> but um, yeah so yesterday I went to visit Oan and Tom oh my hair looks so like whew. I just came back from the gym and um, I'm heading off to the supermarket to get some stuff and then I'm going to visit my sister on the bus Okay guys, so I don't have my camera with me, so I'm using my phone. Um, yes, so I just finished watching the royal wedding. OMG, history has been made, seriously. It was like beautiful, it was like emotional for me. It was like oh, breathtaking, you know? The moment she walked in with her dress, her simple like white dress, long sleeve, designed by Givenchy, the whole dress too. And then she had like a tiara, a beautiful tiara on her head and probably because her dress was so like simple, the tiara st stood out, but it was like so cool, beautiful. <laughs> and then when she walked in the aisle, you just like saw these pillars, um, you know, covered with like real green and, and flowers and stuff and it was like and then you heard like the beautiful music i think it was like classic music yeah and um oh so beautiful i was like telling um my sister like what the hell is this history is being made you know because this was like new to them you know having like um, black pastors from America preaching in like the palace. I've never seen that. I've never heard of that. So I was like, yes. And and um, the pastor he was talking about you know love and and you know how love can conquer everything. And it was just like so beautiful. And it was like hilarious to see that some of them were like with their mouths open because they weren't used to that and then you had like a gospel core in the church they were singing uh, stand by me and beautiful I the, the tears fell off my eyes um, eyes and um, it's just like wow wow you know and uh, everybody who's black saw this I don't know if my sister saw it but I heard like the CNN news reporters talking about it you know about how she brought the black culture to the palace which is like time changing you know it's, it's wow 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 you know it made me so emotional like wow we're changing the future is changing for the good you know <laughs> and it's not about you know black people taking over because we hear that a lot it's about you know cultures melting together being one you know and oh my god I have so much to say, but I got so emotional. Good morning! Welcome to a new vlog. It has been a while since I vlogged, right? But um, I just like, I wasn't like in the mood and you know when I vlog when I'm not in the mood, I'm not able to bring something so you know I just like blah. It is what it is but um i had a good day start i um just had some visitors some visitors who live you know in the neighborhood and um yeah we had some we, we 
had some conversations on how we can get the neighborhood together and um, you know we were sharing ideas and sharing more stuff on who we are I've already met them but we weren't like details on our lives and stuff so it was just like nice to have like a convo with them at first I was like a little bit like nervous as in like I, I my apartment is like small and I was like oh and they live in like bigger houses but they felt like at ease and we were laughing and it was just like fun you know we discussed what we needed to discuss and after that you know we got to know each other so that is good yes positive heading off to auntie bus my sister so um her life is kind of hectic right now um she's starting off a new chapter so um going to see how she's doing and see where i can help and then afterward we're going to my mom's house so let's go too much chatting you know i've been like ordering a lot um i just found this one and you know when you order but you never wear them but this is like some kind of kimono kind of dress and i just thought let me let me film it i haven't like filmed my orders for a while now so i thought it would be fun i don't know if you can see it but these are the sleeves and i just need to go out a little bit more because this is kind of not a everyday dress nice huh and then i have this bathing suit here this is a red one this is like a high-waisted one let's see so oh, i can't wait to go on a holiday i know i've been saying this for quite a while but um at my new job i promised i would like fill in the whole summer so after that period i really need to go seriously because oh my god it has been years but this is my new bathing suit red i can't wait to wear this the leggings that i bought from forever 21 and this i bought like years ago at some kind of seal from some kind of shop but um yeah the weather is going to be like not cold but also not hot so i thought this on top of it would keep me warm yeah and what else yeah i have been like since i dealt with like an assault um in 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 the train i'm like more like oh should i wear this or not and um i filed in a, a report at the military police um and they were like you know you need to get some like uh help you know victims help um because it will affect you and i was like no 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 but i do notice more and more that it affects me especially when drunk people hang around me i get like super tensed and irritated and like my body gets in like defense mode you know so you know it has an effect on me so what happened i was sitting in the train on my way home and there was a match going on so you had like a lot of drunk supporters and i already you know tried to find a spot where i you know did not have to deal with all these drunk people and um i was sitting there by myself um trying to avoid these guys because they were already annoying so uh one guy grabbed went over me from behind and started to grab my breasts you know or at least he managed to do that with one and with the other one he didn't so i screamed i wrote about it on my blog in dutch but i was so i felt so violated i screamed i was like how is this possible how did this happen and you know horrible and I mean like I know people who had to deal with worse but something like this does have like an effect on your mind I don't know and it does you know when I dress up I just like immediately think what if I you know come across like some kind of drunk guy and you know maybe it's too revealing and 
I don't know, it, 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 it does place in my head, you know? And um, that day I wasn't wearing anything revealing. And, um, you know, as soon as that happened, I screamed, I shouted, and he got afraid. So we walked away, but I was like in shock. Like, did this happen to me? Like afterwards, I thought like I should have punched him, I should have done this, but I was in show, such a shock. These things come so unexpected, so... And then, you know, eventually the uh, train uh, officers, they came uh, to help, thank God, and they included the military police, so they were like great, and oh, it was like so... It was horrible, but I'm also thankful because I know in a lot of these situations, women don't get the needed help. So I'm so thankful and I'm also thankful that some in the train uh, spoke up, you know, and yeah, you know, horrible, horrible. And uh, oh well, this is a long story, so um, let's go on. sister is in the middle of a kind of a breakup so she got this one here and we kind of like some parts were missing or we weren't able to get this together so we kind of came to this solution glue and let's see hopefully this works and um, yeah guys this is reality right sometimes things work out and sometimes they don't, they don't, and then you need to make a decision. But um, I'm proud of her, yeah. And um, if you guys know some strong, strong hands, <laughs> yeah, if you guys know some strong hands who are able to help us out a little bit with like lifting, um, putting stuff together please let us know <laughs> we're trying to figure it out so, um, yeah you know this is just the phase of her life and um, yeah let's see you know you just need to be positive and you always need to think like if the situation where you're in now doesn't work you need to kind of like leave it even if it leaves you with less just like start with scratch again and build yourself up that's all you can do right <laughs> I remember my breakup, but I was lucky enough that I never, that we never moved in together, so we did not have that whose stuff belongs, which stuff belongs to who and stuff, so yeah, not nice, not nice. Don't mistake my, my request for help, you know, for not being able to manage, we're just like, you know, it's good when you have like some people who are like familiar with like building stuff. I mean, my sister and I are kind of strong, so from a young age, we were like, you know, kind of people who were able to do stuff themselves. So, the same thing now, we're going to do this, 
we're going to be able to pull this off, hopefully. Hey guys, so oh, hi, yeah, yeah, not a gorgeous day. So, this is what I mean, you know. I shouldn't vlog when I'm not like, when I'm not, not like feeling okay. I don't know what happened today, went all good, but I don't know. I don't know. My, um, oh. Okay, so my mom decided to, uh, like, I don't know, I was just, like, sleeping because I was, like, feeling tired. And my doctors, like, in the past, like, told me, you know, you need to look up the sun because you have, like, a shortage of vitamin D. So I do have, like, certain supplements from them. But, um, yeah, once in a while the sun is good. Oh, before I knew it, my mom was, like, yelling, Oh, sun sit in the sun! But then she forgets, like, I haven't been sitting in the sun, like, for years. I haven't been on a holiday, so that's my way of catching up the vitamin D. So, oh, my heart started to pound because I, I just, I don't know what happened, but I just, like, um, yeah, I don't know. She woke me up with that yelling, and I normally don't wake up with, I've never woken up with, like, a mood or whatever. I always wake up, like, happy or yeah you know at the bed i would like wake up tired but never like cranky moody so it was like super cranky and i got emotional afterwards so i don't know and ah uh, i don't know guys so um i don't know i'm i'm also feeling like emotional now so i don't know what it is but oh energies are not good right now and i'm just not feeling well so yeah i don't know i don't know <sighs> thank you guys i'll see you soon